Okay, so here we are with our document that we've been working on. And just to uh, just for giggles, I'm going to go up here to Pages on my Pages palette. And if you've closed it, you can just open and close it by clicking on that over here. And if you actually like, really close it, like you can't find any of this stuff over here, I will say I've done something completely crazy. God knows. Window, Workspace, Essentials. That's the Don't Panic button. Uh, so anyway, Pages. Get that open, I can resize it down here. And I'm just gonna add out, we're doing an eight page book, so I'm gonna do an eight page book. Uh, and you can, they're all fan, they're all kinds of fancy ways to add pages, but I'm just gonna show you the most primitive way <laughs> to add pages, which is just to keep clicking on this button. All right, oops, I made too many. Okay, so all you have to do is select the page here in the pages palette, so it turns blue and then hit delete. You can also use hold down the shift key and select multiples and hit delete that way. And so you should have something that looks basically like this. You've got page one, which is by itself, three spreads, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the back cover, which is eight. Okay, so now we've got eight pages. And I'm, I wanna show you next um, how to, and I'll just move these around a little bit, I want to show you next how to add an image uh, to a page. Before I do that, I want to actually do a little bit of, we could just jump in and start uh, throwing images around, but I wanted to, to, to show you how you want to prepare an image. Uh, I think you'll get better results if you think ahead just a little bit and uh, work with your image in Photoshop a little bit. So let's jump back over to Photoshop. And that is, not to sound like some kind of Adobe spokesman, but that is one of the cool things is how well integrated Photoshop is with InDesign. Um, so here we are in uh, Photoshop, and let me hit F here to kind of, oops, yeah, there we go. We don't get too much multitasking with this computer. Um, I've opened up an image here, and I want to get this ready to bring into my document. So if you remember, my document is seven inches by seven inches. So this obviously is not a square format photo, but that's okay. And I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my image size because frequently with digital cameras, you'll bring in an image and it will give you this kind of ludicrously silly, huge, resol huge size, physical size, 22 by 16 inches, but at a really cruddy resolution, which is 72. So that's a pretty useless thing to do because if we printed this out it would look really bad at this size. Plus who wants to go around printing out 22 by 16 photos unless you're doing large format photos, which most people aren't. So, and we're certainly not going to do that for a book. So what we want to do is we want to learn how to trade off resolution for print size and leave the overall memory size locked the same. And here's how we do it. We want to keep constrained proportions on because we don't want to distort the photo. But we want to turn off resample image. So right now it's on. But when I turn it off, this gets grayed out. With it on, I can go in here and directly manipulate the pixels in the image. I don't want to. In this case, I want to turn this off. Now, this is one of those, sometimes you want this on, sometimes you want it off. But today you want it off. And watch what happens. Like I said, the short answer is that 300 pixels per inch is a good kind of stock print size to think about. So if under resolution here, this is when we're talking about resolution, we're really talking about print resolution. So I'll switch this to 300, and that gives me an image that's 5.3 by 4. And since my book is 7 by 7, I'll go ahead and lower the resolution a little bit. 250, getting there, 200, 8 by 6. Eh, this isn't that great of a camera, great, that wasn't that great of an image. I think I'll just leave it be at 8x6, and I can do a little bit of resizing in in design uh, because I'm not that uptight about it. Now, this is not a very high resolution, um, so it's not much. It's almost like maybe 2 megapixels. So you guys, a lot of you will have higher res images, and so anyhow, be that as it may. So I'm just going to do that little resize so it's 8 by 6 It'll make the image a little less unwieldy when I bring it into InDesign. Say OK. File. Save as. Medford. 
downtown one. And I'll save that to my desktop so I can find it. Okay. I don't want to save this as a JPEG, which is a mistake I just made. I'm going to actually save this as a Photoshop file. So it started all life off as a JPEG. This is a JPEG image from a camera, but I'm going to save it now as a Photoshop file, and I'll show you why. So Medford Downtown 01 Desktop Format Photoshop. Okay, save. All right, back to InDesign. Go down here to InDesign. And I think I'll show you how to bring that photo in in the next video.